I was a district medical officer uh, in Ghana and I was called in the middle of the night uh, to see a patient. She had ruptured in her uterus and the husband is sleeping on the bench. And I got upset and I said, while your wife is dying, you are sleeping. He rode 12 hours on a bicycle with the wife. So he was exhausted. And it was too late for me to do anything and she, the woman died. The connectedness between the health conditions of the people and the, the rest of the economy and the political scene is uh, just overwhelmingly evident in Kenya. We have a lot of medical expertise and we know how to address and deal with many of the key issues. What's really a challenge is the underlying fundamental ability to govern and administer not only the health network, but at a larger sense, the, the governance of this country and of other countries. This is not a unique place. We have a big problem in Kenya and Africa with the counterfeit drugs, which threatens our medical system. The only effective way by which we can deal with counterfeit drugs is to have a strong collaboration between us and drug manufacturers internally and externally. As health professionals and as public health people, we tend to look at health being an isolated condition. But in Kenya, you can't help but see the profound relationship between health conditions and governance. The effectiveness of governance, the accountability of the government to its people. However much help we get from outside, we shall not go far if we do not establish these strong institutions. Unless there is a political security in place that enables uh, health to be addressed, then uh, we're unlikely to make much progress in these issues. And we're not going to infuse some certain medication to, to fix one thing without initiative and leadership on the part of people from top to bottom. Community health worker itself as the link person for all these resources that are available in the community. The organizers, the community health workers, uh, are providing uh, almost a, a sort of mentorship for the people in these vulnerable communities that they're working with. Really we are <laughs> sort of the, the catalyst in this whole process because it is up to us to go out there and see how we can be able to collaborate and establish a linkage. What's impressive about these workers is their commitment to the community and the sense of uh, ownership and empowerment and leadership. Well, I was energized to see this younger group of clinicians, um, nurses and doctors, who really took pride in their facility, uh, took pride in how they work, being very creative and innovative. So that gave me hope that, that this generation that's being educated here has a desire to change the way care is being delivered. Most of the programs that go on are run by the community. Young people who are here, they are from this community. It makes the community feel like this is one of theirs and they will do anything to guard it. They are the program themselves and, and their relationships with these individuals is something that's incredibly inspiring and something that has a follow-on impact in society as these people take those skills out and into political life, into civic life and to give back to, to their community. If you give ownership to the community, then you're, you're, you're set to go. Right? You, you, you just know that everything will go well. <laughs>